In this InDesign tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to superscript here in InDesign. So I've got A2 written out here in a text box. I can press T for the type tool and click and drag to highlight the two or whatever letter you want to superscript or subscript. So an interesting and honestly annoying feature that I would probably turn off but just happened to pop up here is this little glyphs panel. So technically there's a subscript and superscript icon right here. I, I don't like this panel, it gets in the way. I would turn it off in settings anyway. Um, so you can click that if you want, but I'm gonna show you how to actually do this. So when we highlight this, we come over here into our properties panel and we have a character panel in here and we have more options in the character panel. And once we click that, we actually do see a superscript option right here. So we can click on superscript. Now what that's gonna do is basically just superscript that too. And if that's good enough for you, that's great. But if you wanna make edits to this, like how high up or um, low, gosh, how, how far up and down it is placed versus left and right, and also the size of the two, then I need to be able to show you how to do those things. So we're gonna highlight that two again. We're gonna look at the size first. So over here, we have font size. We can actually click this up and down. We can hold shift while we do it to go in larger increments. So maybe you want the two to be that size. But now we have a problem. You see it's lower on your A when it needs to be higher. So we come down here to something called baseline shift and we can actually bump this back up. Once again, I can hold the shift key while I click that to bump it up in larger increments. Once I get it to where I want it to be, maybe it's right there, wherever visually you want it to be. Then we can move on to left and right movement. So if we look here, maybe the two is a little bit further away from the A than we want. So we can click between the two, get our little uh, flashing cursor, and then we can come over here to kerning, and that's the spacing between letters. I'm gonna hold shift again while I click the down arrow to uh, reduce some of the spacing between the two and the A. So we can just place that in there exactly where we want. And so now we've created our own version of this superscript and been able to edit the placement and size of the superscript too. And that is how you can superscript here in InDesign.